beautiful soul tribe collective welcome back to another message i have a really interesting collective energy to get through for you guys i'm gonna be pulling a few cards from this deck i'm not sure what it's called the prisma visions tarot we're gonna be pulling a few cards from this deck to clarify the channeled message but oh my god this is a lot you guys there's a there's a big collective energy right now of that's it's affecting the crown chakra and the third eye. It's a very watery, very abstract energy. Okay. It's like affecting our intuition, it's affecting our crown chakra which rules our brain, our mind, the mental realm, the spiritual realm you know, the dream realms, the astral realms. And what this is, is like intuition is heightening you guys. Your intuition is leveling up. Or there's there's an energy about that is opening your crown chakra at a new level. You've become very, very, very sensitive to energies recently. Or maybe this is an energy that you are being told that is coming in for you. If you haven't been experiencing this, you may have been feeling very, very tired even like mental fatigue, but you have physical energy or maybe it's the other way around and you have been feeling uh, physical fatigue, but had a lot of mental energy. It's affecting crown chakra, it's affecting third eye. I'm getting it's going to impact creativity, uh, thinking, the imagination. This energy has seriously heightened. Um, you may be just, if you already read tarot, maybe you feel like you can read it better recently or you've had more intuitive downloads. Maybe you've had more epiphanies. You guys, it's making the mind run very fast. And there's also a slight energy of paranoia that's linked into this because of how intense this energy is that is coming in on the crown chakra. I'm getting that it's causing a lot of, um, oh... It's causing a lot of energy of kind of detachedness. Like some of you, maybe you've been questioning reality recently or like time hasn't felt as continual or you've been getting a lot of deja vu. No, there's a lot of like weird things that maybe you've been experiencing. Like, I mean, life's already weird enough, okay? <laughs> what even is reality? But you see, this is the energy that we're talking about. It's very detached. It's very ungrounded, not in a, I'm not saying in a bad way, but, but because your crown chakra is so activated, some of you may be feeling slightly detached from reality. You've been having like stronger dreams. Okay. You've been having more vivid dreams. Your imagination as well, your intuition. Yeah, that's been heightened. Your creativity might have been heightened or your premonitions or your just your intuitive nudges that you've been also this is also affecting you physically because because you're feeling things at this heightened level or you will be it's like anyone who's projecting energy towards you you're going to feel that you're going to feel that even if you don't know where it's coming from i'm speaking to specifically some people watching who get really heavy waves of emotion and you're you're not sure what it's from or you're not sure if it's you it's like why am i feeling this way it's like emotions that maybe you don't normally feel like uh at that at that intensity or that level i'm getting a lot of you watching are very in tune with your crown like your crown chakra is very open and it's opened more recently or there's something going on with it or there's something going on with the energies in the in the ethers is it neptune there's strong neptune energy that's what it is there's a strong Neptune energy and it's almost like detached from reality. But you guys, um, this could be affecting your physical body because you are experiencing sensations as signs from your chakras. Some of you, you've started having physical sensations from your chakras. If you've had a lot of pressure in your head around your third eye, or maybe you feel like a tingling on top of your head. Maybe you've getting, been getting headaches. If not, you guys, there's something about your heart chakra, feeling sensations in your heart chakra, maybe like a stabbing, a pressure, a tingling. Obviously, this is one side of it. If you are experiencing that, always follow your own intuition to like, you know, get the the medical advice that you need but also on another level on the chakra system i feel like you've been experiencing physical sensations maybe you just think they're tied to other things like if it's a solar plexus 
kind of thing. Like maybe you've been experiencing some weird tummy movement or I don't know. This is just for some of you guys. Physical chakra sensations. It's like you've been experiencing, if some of you get like a sudden pain in your back. Yeah, at the back of your back, like here. About in alignment with your heart through to the back. It's like some of you guys, you've been experiencing the new level of, of feeling energy and the, and the sensitivity that you are to feeling energy. And it's like you walk in a room, you feel the energy. Oh, some of you could have been like randomly picking up anxiety, like in your chest feelings of anxiousness in your chest and maybe you're thinking wait why do i feel this isn't you're like why do i feel this it's not you i'm just getting this reading is really here as a confirmation that everyone's needing right now because this is no joke this is really serious at how open and how the energy is affecting everyone's crown chakra and their third eye right now and 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 it's very important because when you get too, like when the energies are so open, it can become very detached. I mean, you might feel a bit isolated or it's like, even if you're not, it's like, are you going, some of you think like, am I going crazy? That's not all of you, but some of you, if you're thinking that like you guys, there's heavy energies going on in your crown chakra. Yeah, as I said, this is affecting your creativity as well. I feel like it's linked into a segment that you're walking into of your life that's involving this in some way, like involving... There's a lot of intense energies that have been around recently as well. Okay, there, I'm, I'm getting there's like maybe some situations as well that it's like smoke and mirrors. Or you feel like something smoke and mirrors. There's like things that your third eye or your in or your crown chakra has been trying to work out. It's like it's been very active, and maybe it's like even creating up more scenarios than normal. Or like you guys, if you just have like go down spirals of visions, like of oh imagine if this happened, imagine if this happened. It's like if that's been stronger recently, you guys. Like if you've been zoning out more recently as well like just feeling more zoned out like you can zone out and you just go off off into the quantum realm but again sleep like your sleep could have changed recently you could have actually been sleeping more recently or your or your or it's just the times that you've been sleeping have changed you've been going to bed earlier normally maybe you go to bed quite late or maybe you go to bed late and normally you go to bed quite early i don't know there's something going on with like dreams and stuff but if you've resonated, you know, maybe doing some research on the crown chakra or the third eye and how that can like physically impact you, what it's like, what is, what's going on, might make you feel, um, some of you less, and I don't like this word, obviously, but some of you less crazy. I feel like some of you are experiencing things at a really heightened level. Like maybe you're even seeing things. Okay, maybe you're seeing auras, you're seeing... It's like you're seeing things you didn't used to see or you're like you're having experiences or you're having epiphanies. Some of you are getting downloads, intuitive epiphanies that are actually a lot. Like the truth is a lot sometimes. You know, I'm getting a big awakening energy, but not awakening, just like a big consciousness shift. But this one's really affected your crown chakra. And it's like while this energy is coming in, it's going to be very intense. And then it's going to just simmer out a bit more it's going to be very intense and then it's going to simmer out a bit more and you're going to notice that your base intuition has heightened after this big wave okay yeah it's like your base intuition is going to be heightened after this big wave like it's already heightened but don't worry it's going to calm down and simmer down i just feel like you're feeling a lot of energy is just a bit like in the background that it's like oh like where is that coming from even if you're not thinking where is that coming from it's like maybe you just feel a bit weird at the minute you feel a bit off you know you feel like something's a bit off it's like weird it, it's just like thoughts like i don't know interesting i feel like you could subconsciously feel more protective of your energy as well 
when it comes to like thinking about other people it's like your energies become a bit more protective recently or a bit more or someone is in your spirit team a bit more protective or you're being protected okay some of you are being isolated a bit more right now whilst you integrate this new energy because sometimes spirit doesn't like us to be around people when we're integrating new energy because of how intense it can be so if you're in like a hermit mode or you feel like you need a break or you're just withdrawing, maybe you feel like you're not speaking to people as much. Or maybe you feel like just out of nowhere, suddenly like you, no one's speaking to you. Like not that they're not, it's just like everyone's busy or you're just in this pocket of alone energy, you know, or like energy of like, oh, just need some time to think. Like you're not even thinking about other people. You're like, I just need some time for myself. Or like if you've been tired. I don't know, it just feels like you're having, you've been a bit more withdrawn from certain situations or certain people. This could even be just certain people. It doesn't have to be everybody. It could be like spirits withdrawn you from certain people. It could even just be like the past few days or the past week or, or coming in for a short period of time. Like it's not like people, are, it's not like anything's going to happen in the connections to be like ending or anything like that it's just a break away like it's just like oh you don't speak to a few people for a few days and then you do it's like you're being spirit is like protecting your energy whilst there's things going on there's things going on for you and your 1155 i just saw there's things going on for you in your energy uh but there's also things going on on the outside of your energy too and I feel like this has been a, a confusing mix because whilst you're integrating all of this crown chakra energy and this and this third eye energy, it's a very it can almost be disorient disorientating at times, especially when it comes to like time, uh, you know, grasp of reality, things like that. Um, and I feel like if there's things going on in the outside that you were already feeling a bit like unsure about or confused, I feel like it's just heightened those situations. Maybe spirits pulled you away from certain people just because of the, you know, it's a bad mix. It's a bad mix maybe um, of like having that very intense Neptune energy. Is it Neptune? I get like strong Pisces as well. It's just strong water, strong abstract in the ethers, in the 5D energy, in the mind. Having that strong energy going on in your mind whilst trying to process other situations or make conclusions about other situations is it's very intense. You, know, you feel like you're just getting information. You're like, is that, am I just making this up? Is that true? You know? So let me pull you a card. I do just read energy and channel energy. So, um... You don't really use the cards all the time. Okay, we have the world. Look, this. I never use this deck as well. This is like unexpected. This is like in the mental realms. Look at that. Two of cups on the bottom deck energy. Very interesting. Look, it's all weird. It's like dreams could be really weird. Like, why are these people drinking wine in a river? Like, it's so random, you guys. The world there's like a lot of swirling energy. There's like a lot. Can you see this? The way that this card's art is. This one. Can you see the way that this card's art is like almost hypnotic? Like hypnosis? I don't know what. It's like a very hypnosis type of like trance type of energy. Um, This is like very abstract. Like within the dream. You know when everything's just changing. Like everything's just turning into something else it's like a very trippy energy and i'm not saying anything about drugs and stuff i'm just saying that this crown chakra energy that's what it's almost creating within is like this spiraling very deep and like so many different some of you are seeing more visions in your third eye like when you close your eyes you're seeing more colors or you're seeing lots of things that you don't normally see um that's only for some of you because obviously not everyone and and for those that didn't resonate with that it's your dreams your dreams have been a bit more like maybe you feel like your dreams have been more random or there's been it, it's just like really weird like really a bit more abstract recently a bit more left field is what i'm hearing i don't even know what that means but um but yeah there's this very 
you guys, it is something to do with like the 5D layers and you like being this multi-dimensional being that you are. I just feel like there's a lot of energies happening collectively in the earth, like whatever's going on. I don't keep up, but it's this is this is what it feels. This is the energy I'm feeling. It's like there's a lot going on around and it's impacting us as a collective. And it's like to do with this very spiritual crown third eye energy. And I keep hearing this song. It says push, it's like pushing past the limits, tripping on hallucinogenics. And I don't know why things like that keep coming through. I, I think it's more of a metaphorical... It, yeah, it's to do with the timelines, it's to do with the layers, it's to do with dimensions, it's to do with you um, you mentally being open to a new dimension. Yeah, you're, be you're being open to a new dimension of experiencing life, okay? And I mean that you're being open to a new dimension. I hope that, do you feel that? It's like you're being open to a new dimension like yes we have this reality we also have so say like a dream realm is a new dimension like your dreams are a dimension because it's like yeah you're in there you're experiencing it what are you in like there's even if it's project even if you say it's projections what are you stood in like you're stood in a reality if you can see it it's light everything's just made up of light the same as this reality so if you're stood in the dream like you're in a realm there's a realm opening up for you whether it's like astral realms yeah there's like an astral realm opening up for you a new realm that you're going to do spiritual work in some of you are conscious to this and you do it consciously and some of you are unconscious it's like your 5d self is going to start working in a new level of dimension and so it and, and in and in turn you're going to be receiving lots of new different experiences because think about it like this right think about it like is it ET? Okay, think about it like ET as your higher self, right? And you are the little boy. And it's like your higher self is going out here in these different dimensions. They're connecting with spirits, connecting with people, connecting with situations, aligning things, and they're feeling energy. And the energy they're feeling, like ET and his friend, his friend's going to feel that energy. And this is like your 3D self is connected to your higher self and what they're experiencing and what they're feeling. <clears throat> and so this is what you've been picking up on because your higher self is part of the collective so your higher self is like a collection of collective consciousness whoa so your higher self is like a collection of collective consciousness and it's been feeling things <clears throat> recently that you've been tapping into with your 3d body with your 3d self very intense emotions very intense frequencies, sometimes disor disorientating, sometimes you don't know where it's coming from, sometimes you're like, yeah, this is me. <sighs> you're doing more new work there. What is this for, though? It's for your uh, life path, for your business, especially for your business. It's to do with, like, a divine counterpart as well. Yeah, there's, like, people that you've been working with in the spirit realms Guys, if you read tarot, the messages that you get are going to change. If you do your own, like, not even for a, a collective, even just your own, like, thoughts to yourself, you're going to be getting some thoughts come in that are, like, really different to things you would normally think. I don't, I don't know what that's about, but you're doing work with, you're doing work with somebody or people's, a collective consciousness. You're doing work with a group of collective consciousness who are on the same life path as you. Oh, okay. You're doing work with a group of collective consciousness as your higher self that are on the same shared life path as you. It could be connected to something you will create, something you're creatively doing. It could be something connected to the download you're having. Yeah, some of you, this isn't anything you've started doing. Is that you're working with a higher, a, a new collective you're working in a your higher self's working with this collective they're bringing you're all getting the same download you're all getting the same epiphanies and it's like that's going to connect up with something you do in the future some knowledge you share some book you write something you do 
people that you connect with because you'll be connecting with people out of this collective that you've been working with in your higher self. You'll be connecting with them in the 3D. If you haven't already, you will be very soon. You'll be able to tell who they are because they'll just feel so familiar. It's because you've already been working with them on a spirit level. You'll just feel like they just get you or like you, I don't know, there's some type of like connection. You can like read each other's uh, thoughts or you can read each other's energy very clearly, very well. It's like there's certain people who stick out who are a bit different to everybody else that you come across. Their energy feels different. It's like you're going to be slowly starting to get people in that you've already been in contact with in the higher realms. And getting this is recent though. Like you've connected with new people recently in the higher realms and now they're going to start moving in in the physical realm because like you have a plan there's like things that are going to lead you in a certain direction business wise in like a few years time or like in the next coming years you're stepping into it now but it's going to be ongoing for the next lot like many it's going to be ongoing for the next few years if not up to like your life like your life like what you step into your soul's mission now this is like the pre-preparation stage of that Anyway, that felt like a lot. <laughs> that felt like a lot. There's like things happening right now that maybe feel like a lot. It's like communication, heavy. There's been heavy energy going around with communication. Communication being more explosive, being more intense. Or maybe just like a bit more unexpected. Or there's just like unexpected things that are coming up or being said. There's unexpected communication from somebody. Or like, um... I don't know. There's a connection to music as well. Someone playing the instrument or someone listening to music. You listening to music. It's like you can pick up... Oh, you've been getting more synchronies. You've been getting more synchronicities recently, especially through music and songs. Or you've been connecting with music at a new level recently. It's like you've really been connecting with music because... Music is your connection to the divine, to the spirit team, to your intuition. And that's where you've been getting a lot of messages from is music. And they're like giving you intuitive nudges about things to come. But also it's like, are they? I don't know. There's like this um, energy of <sighs> trusting our intuition, no matter how obscure it may seem. It is an energy about trusting our intuition and the feelings that we have, even if you they're not fully formed opinions or thoughts. It's like trusting that nudge, like just that nudge, like, oh, like, why do I not want to be near that person? Why does that feel weird? Why does that feel off? You're like, I don't know why it feels off, but your higher self knows, like your body is a physical reactor to energy and to people. So it's like, even if you don't know or you can't put your finger on something, that's your intuition, that's your body. That is your intuition reacting and telling you how it feels about someone's energy, even if you don't quite know. <sighs> so big inspiration is coming in. I like big breakthroughs. Oh, there's like people, oh wow. So there's like information that you might gather from a past life soon. This could be for a reader. This could be for your own intuition. This could be for a dream. This could be for a feeling. This could be a person. As a person, you're connecting. It's like you're connecting with a person you believe to be you had a past life with. Yeah, and that's connecting you deeper to the energy of your past lives. And then it will continue to unfold knowledge for you on your past lives through interacting with people who you shared past lives with this lifetime. And you're already in the same soul tribe. Some of these people who you shared past lives with, they're the ones who are coming in or, or, or a few may have already moved or moved into your reality. But these are the people who in the collective who you've already been working with in the higher realms. Just make sure to give yourself the rest that you need. There could have been complications in connections recently. There could have been like a lot of busy energy or you could have been more tired. Like this moon energy sums up this reading completely of what is going on, you guys. Completely. The moon. It's like illusion. Intuition. Yeah, you could have been feeling more tired. There could have even been some conflict within people around you. There could have been like heavier conflict within people around you or maybe the people around you have been experiencing heavier energies, you've noticed. 
like the bit that maybe you feel like everyone's on a low recently or like everyone around you is unhappy maybe that's what's been affecting your energy as well you guys not every you guys the, a, a really strong message coming through is some of you feel things very intensely and i feel like there's this energy of struggle because it's like why why do i feel like what is wrong with me or what why is it it's like it's not all you guys like it's all the energy you feel it isn't all yours you guys that's why it's, it's frustrating because like how do i change this what do i do about this what is this coming from oh and some of you are like blaming yourself like oh like you just don't haven't been doing the right things you haven't been alchemizing your energy you still have loads of past trauma you need to heal no but don't be so hard on yourself because not all of it is actually from you that was a message for a specific person. So if you didn't resonate with that, just leave it behind. Okay, we've got the Wheel of Fortune. There's an energy coming through of peacocks, swans, snakes. There's like karmatic cycles. There's like two animals conflicting, like the contrast. It's like someone poking their head in about this. Oh yeah, there's definitely people like moving in for you and and there's also a big energy of abundance moving in and also abundance of potential especially when it comes to connections like abundance of potential it's like you can feel it like you could really go far with this person or this friend or this this idea that's what's moving in a lot of prosperity also beauty you guys maybe you'll be changing up something or you're like focusing on something aesthetic some of you are painting some of you are changing your style, your makeup. I don't know. It's just something about you becoming more sensitive to energies and that's somehow affecting what you're doing, like what you're wearing, right? Like maybe you're like more sensitive to materials. Now you don't want to wear certain things or you, it's like, I don't know. Maybe it's like the, the colours that you're wearing, what you're eating. Maybe it's like that has changed as well. The more, the more your crown chakra is opened, it's like you can't, if you're so sensitive now to energies that you couldn't perceive before um, at a new level and it's like yeah maybe there's certain tv shows you can't watch certain music it's like maybe some of you feel like you could used to listen to any song now you can this is only for a specific few people but it's like you used to be able to listen to any type of music but now it's like you need to be in a certain mood like if things really have to flow with your mood now maybe some of you are noticing it's like you really have to it's like you can't just brush over your feelings. Like you really have to follow your feelings. You can't do something if you don't want. It's like you can't do something if you don't feel it. You can't speak so. It's like you really, you really have to just follow your emotions because of their intensity and because your emotions are your compass, are your guide. Your emotions are your intuition because they are energy. And where did that energy come from? It's coming from your crown chakra. Your crown chakra has been super active recently, so your emotions directed by them it's probably going to be more intense as well they might just be more clear more strong some of you are quite decisive recently of what you're feeling you want to do or what you need to do like normally maybe it's like oh i feel a certain way but i could go i could do anything you know you could be a, you so like you feel a certain way but no you'll just push through it because you need to do something now it's like oh i feel a certain energy i'm not doing anything i need to rest i need to do this or oh, i'm feeling a certain energy it's like you put in stronger boundaries about something you could have been putting in stronger boundaries with people recently or just certain habits or things that you do I, I'm getting this could even be your own actions. It's like you can't do some things you used to do or put up with or like you can't do as much because it's like you just feel a bit drained at points. Take as much time as you need. Take as much rest as you need. This is serious, intense energy, you guys. And it's, it's, it's intense and serious because you guys, you have a very, very important life mission this lifetime. Things that you're going to do, people that you're going to connect with. The impact that you're going to make okay some of these are already plans of yours like you already have plans to do certain things like those are the things we're talking about and look you're on a unicorn you are literally walking a divine path you are literally you guys you're like you have such a connection you have a, such an important mission here this lifetime and and that mission is lived just through you doing what you love and sending out that frequency and adding that to the collective no matter what it is like you don't have to 
do anything that's even in the public eye. You don't have to be in contact with anybody. Like your frequency is a part of the collective and you're on this important life mission that you're actually breaking out. You're you're a part of the new the new divine era that you're creating healing. You're changing what has been. The light workers, the shadow workers, you've explored yourselves to the depths of your soul. It's like you're you're being aligned with soul tribe that you've been working with in the 5D. Pay attention to how you feel around certain people, the conversations that you have with certain people. Some of these people are people that are connected to your life path, connected to your soul tribe, connected to your your journey in very significant ways that we will only be able to know once we walk down them. It could be something coming through about travel for somebody as well. Taking a trip, taking time off work, taking a vacation. Maybe it's just this year or maybe you feel like that's what you need. Or maybe that's something you're looking forward to doing or planning. Maybe this is linked into your life path as well. Maybe some of you in the future are going to travel for work. Or something about reaching across the world for work. Or putting something out there into the world for work. Something to do with nature. Yeah, just keeping ourselves nice and grounded. Make sure we're not too hard on ourselves in this time. Uh, especially when it comes to the 3D world. Spirit's like, no, it doesn't matter. At this point in time, it doesn't matter. <laughs> no, okay, not that it doesn't matter completely, but our focus should be on self and 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 focusing on what we're feeling and and really paying heed to that and just and just you know really being there for ourselves, doing whatever we feel is right, doing what we feel is best, you know, not putting too much pressure on ourselves or anything, knowing that we're exactly where we need to be and giving ourselves a bit more credit, giving yourself a bit more credit for the fact that you are experiencing things that maybe you don't even, it's like, like your higher self is doing so much work in the 5D, like your soul is a multi-dimensional being. This 3D self is not the only self that you live and flick between, but it is the self that is most perceived. Okay, the other selves aren't really perceived because we need to be in the 3D to have our experience. But that doesn't disregard the fact that your higher selves and other and you in other dimensions are still doing things. You are still processing things. You are still working with many other souls in a higher dimension. So like the, like that's draining because it's like it's still coming from your soul's energy, your source energy. Oh yeah, because you're doing a lot of transmutation. And because you've been picking up on heavier energies of the people around you as well. And when we're in a lower frequency, just the same as hot and cold. When food is hot, it's because the atoms are vibrating very quickly. When your energy is a high frequency, the atoms are vibrating very quickly. And so this creates a lot of energy. But when we're experiencing lower frequencies of emotion because of the, you know, because that's just what it is. That's just life. Nothing's good. Nothing's bad. Lower frequencies are needed. But when we're experiencing transmuting lower frequencies and when people around us are in lower frequencies and you're picking up on that frequency, uh, just like cold food, the atoms aren't vibrating as much. They're vo vibrating at a lower frequency. They're not, they're not as active. And so this produces less energy. We have less energy to draw from, to pull from. But the energy is very scattered out because it's like we have energy for certain things. Or the certain things that you have energy for are the things that we're being called to do. If you have a lot of energy to sleep, that's because you're doing a lot of work in the higher realms right now. You're being guided to sleep more because that's that's what's going to be most productive, right? If you're guided to do certain work, like maybe there's there's like things you need to do, but you only want to do a certain thing. You know, it's like wherever we're being called to, wherever we feel like isn't depleting our energy, this is to, this goes for people as well. If you feel like interacting with certain people drains your energy or you just don't really want to, like it causes a bit of like, uh, like we're, we're being told to listen to that because that's for a reason, because there's specific people around you who you're supposed to be in and not supposed to be like you're always doing everything you should be. You're exactly where you need to be. You, 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 you never not you 
you never can't not be exactly where you need to be because it's just you just you are and even when we're we feel like we're not that's because we feel like we should be in a different position be in a different mood be in a different mindset and that energy of should is putting a segregation to the energy saying one is right one is wrong but then, but, the, but there's like a really strong energy of uh overviewing what is right and what is wrong what is good what is bad I feel like that's something that maybe is being looked upon right now as well within your subconscious or within you or actually as a collective as a collective we're really reviewing what is right and what is wrong what is good and what is bad what is what is because for the reasons we're looking at the reasons to some things the reasons of why they're happening the reason to events and then if the reason is good but maybe the energy that it came from was bad is it really good or bad? One last thing to add in as well. I feel like a part of what the, what has been going on with this heightened sensitivity to energy is that it's also affecting when you think about people. When you think about people, you are tapping into their timeline and their frequency. When, like, you know, this happens when we're with people, but also when we think about people. I'm getting someone watching who's been thinking about certain people or certain things and tapping into the frequency and maybe you've been picking up some interesting energy from certain people or some certain certain situations and so you can't quite put your finger on it or you can't quite work it out sometimes this can be a bit frustrating for our intuition so We're being told to just give it some time to settle down for the energies to settle i'm hearing like we're gonna be everything's going to make a lot of sense very soon it's something's going to come to light what is going to come to light it's, it's something coming to light that's going to make uh something your intuition has told you make a lot of sense it's also going to be a big confirmation that your intuition is right that you have a very strong intuition it's like a confirmation and that's it's kind of setting off this path of you really trusting your intuition because maybe it's something that you thought was a bit out there or a bit off or like I don't know like you're just making it up but then it happens you guys I don't know it's like you're being proven right about an intuitive hit that maybe you doubted yeah this could be to do with a situation to do with work or a people a group of people this could be to do with a group of people this could be to do with something involving watching social media. This could be to go how to go about resolving. This could be that you've got a certain intuitive hit about how a certain situation will be resolved. Maybe how a certain connection will come into play or be resolved. Or what's happening within a certain dynamic or group of people. Like you could have got an intuitive hit about something that's happening between certain people or or maybe you've just thought something's happened between this person and this person or something's going on with that or something's I don't know but also that's a bit it's like there could be gossip involved in this energy or just like other people you've been picking up energy of other people I'm getting or, or a certain person this could be a divine counterpart if you're this could be something that like nothing's changed or maybe it has what's changed is you being able to tap into energy at a deeper heightened level recently and you already could tap into it at a very high level so i think that just emphasizes the fact of how intense this really is you guys some of you have water in your chart or even if you don't it's like you embody a lot of this intuitive energy uh, within your subconscious, within yourself, uh, and when I say to you, I mean emotional, your emotions are your intuition, and when you're feeling emotions at a certain depth, okay, that is you tapping into energy, and because you can feel emotions to such a heightened degree, you can also tap into other people's emotions, your empaths, and you've been picking up on somebody, whoa, oh yeah, that was underneath, I didn't even notice, You've been picking up on somebody's energy. This could be a father figure. This could even be someone passed over. This could also be uh, a divine counterpart. Someone you're not in contact with anymore. I would just like I don't. You guys, you're very powerful souls. Like, like 
like the height that you're picking up all of this information with yeah you guys like some of you are connecting with people who have passed over and it's like you can feel it there or you can feel someone's presence or maybe this is just somebody uh around you who's embodying this emperor energy illumination this is the mystery card you guys illumination this is where we're going to leave it there's something happening literally within your body within your dna some of you if you've been a bit run down recently it could be due to this i want to see just say it just if you've resonated like um I am not going to be able to provide you with all of the information that is going to be helpful. But when it comes to the crown chakra or the third eye or just looking into maybe like the physical effects that that has as well. Or I don't know, just pay attention to your physical body. You're picking up a lot of messages from spirit right now in your physical body, within your dreams, um, within your daydreams as well. Especially some of you, if you're looking out into nature. Some of you, when you daydream, you're channeling, like you're channeling real heavy, but maybe it's like channeling. Sometimes it's, it's like, oh, some of you have been channeling, but maybe mistaking it as your own thoughts. And some of you are already very open to channeling and you know what this is. But maybe it's like, even if you're still open to channeling, you've been channeling a new spirit or somebody um, that maybe you haven't noticed because they're a new energy. You've been picking up on a new energy moving in towards you. You've been picking up on an energy that is around you. It could be involved with a group of people in another place. Or, like, it could be involved with this other group of people. Um, and you've been picking up on an energy. But I, don't, I feel like you don't know them, but they're coming into your life. Or but maybe this is somebody, I don't know. It's like, I mean, if you've been picking up on a strange energy, I'm getting that this isn't anybody that you know. It's somebody who's moving, it's somebody who's going to make themselves known to you. There's somebody who's going to make themselves known to you soon. This could be someone that just wants to be a friend, but this could also be someone to just use your own intuition with, with what their intentions are. Especially if they're acting one way to you and maybe they've acted other ways to other people, right? This could be someone who puts up a bit of a mask, a bit of a front. But it's like they want to impress you, though. But it's like they want you to like them. But also, why do they... It's like they could even just say behind your... No, I don't even know. Like, I don't know. It's a weird energy. I just trust your own intuition. Yeah, Knight of Cups. There's definitely somebody kind of on the wave, riding the wave down to you. They're very silly. There's also another fun energy coming through. Apart from that last energy, there's a very fun, light-hearted energy. Like, woohoo! Like a cowboy, I'm hearing cowboy, right? Cowboy, I don't know. This 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 could be something to do with horses that are synchronicity or water, butterflies, trees, the stars, nighttime. It's like a really fun energy. I'm also getting the energy of like nighttime, a nighttime walk, a nighttime drive, doing something silly at nighttime. You could be, this could be somebody that's coming in to you. You could be speaking to somebody at nighttime. Or you could be connecting with somebody at night time who has the same, it's like you can bounce really well with each other, it, it, even if it's just like funny humour. You guys are, uh, might be speaking to someone at night time in the future or soon. It's like they really get your sense of humour. Uh, you could have had laughs with them. You could even be in person drinking with this person at night time or you could just be around them having jokes. But for some of you, you're messaging them. And, and this could be the start of something new. It feels so right to be here with you. Whoa. And now. Okay, this is somebody that you're going to have a lot of fun with talking to or being around. This could just be a friend that in like years time, you know, maybe something will happen. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. But it's like that energy. There's like a good energy I'm picking up of. So... Yeah, but I feel like you're using your discernment and your judgment very wisely on the people around you right now as well. Or the people that will be moving in. Why do I feel like you're getting a lot of people move in at once? Or like a group of people? Or like um, like something's growing? Or like you you might get quite a... You might get a few new friends at once. Or like meet someone through someone. You might be like meeting connections through a connection. Okay? Or like just around people through a connection. I feel like you're going to be really using your discernment because you're like, hmm, don't really know about this. Maybe you're someone that keeps quiet to yourself. That's why. 
Like, it's like you don't really know who to trust. I don't know why I'm picking that up, but it could be a group of people that you're connected to through a person that you're not really sure how you feel about them or if you trust them. You know, like maybe you have a friend who has a group of friends. So you don't speak to that group of friends, but you speak to that friend. Or you have a partner who has a group of friends. And it's like you're not really friends with them, but you speak to... I don't know. There's something about that. Why is there something about that? I don't know. I feel like you don't really like some of the energies projected at you from these people. Maybe I'm just seeing you come up here as the Hierophant. It's like you guys have strong spiritual views or like you have strong morals. You have strong morals and like how you want to be spoken to. And I don't know. It's like the, uh, even if it's like, okay, you have strong morals of what type of energy of people you like to be around. Maybe you don't like to be around people who are really gossipy or judgmental. You don't like, you do not like people who are judgmental. But I'm seeing that maybe there's some people in a group uh, close to you or through people that maybe you feel are a bit judgy, but maybe they don't even know of you. But maybe you've been picking up on their energy. So maybe they must know of you. But then they but then you're thinking, but if I've been picking up on their energy, then they, then, then obviously they do, but also maybe not. But also this is tied into that energy that I was talking about at the start about paranoia. And I'm not like disregarding anyone's intuition, but this is what I mean. Because you pick up energy, this is what it's stemming from, isn't it? Your crown chakra, because you can feel the energy that's coming. So then you're gonna, your brain's obviously going to want to know what's going on. Or like if you've been picking up energy of somebody moving in or somebody's thinking about you. Um, but no, but there's somebody who's really beautiful who is going to bring a lot of light-hearted energy to you, a lot of humour. But yeah, why do I just feel like you're doing something soon where you're going to be uh, around people? Seven of Cups, maybe you're unsure about this. Maybe there's something you're unsure about. Or maybe it's like you're not sure what I'm talking about. Maybe there's something you haven't been invited to yet or something that you... Plans that haven't been made yet that you're going to be around a group of people. It's like maybe you think, I don't even really know if I want to go to this. I don't know if I want to be around these people. I don't really know if I want to do that. But what was it? Why is it coming up? Whoa, five of swords, you, maybe you're worried, you don't want conflict, you don't want to be in this frustrated energy, I don't know, it just seems like you don't want to be, like, met with judgment, you don't want to be just, like, taken as a fool, I just don't know, and maybe it's not even to do with you, maybe there's people in that place that don't really get along with each other, you don't like to be around certain types of energies, you're just very sensitive to energy. <sighs> Yeah, herons could be a synchronicity for somebody or the beach or like those beach things like this. The beach could be significant or water. It looks like you have plans. <laughs> this is so specific. Imagine, imagine you have plans to go to the beach or something. Or someone does. I don't know. That's literally for like a few people watching. Or it could even be to like go to a certain place. It, it could be to do with the, something... Snow could be significant. Or food or drink. Could be something involved to do with food or drinking. King of Wands. Whoa, messy energy. Wow, there could be people drinking at this thing, at this plan, at this event, at this... Or there's somebody here, King of Wands. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> do you know what this is like? It's like, oh, you go out with... This is for, like, somebody watching very specific. It's like, oh, it's like somewhere you're going just to be polite or somewhere that you're going because there's plans or it's like you're, you're just going with somebody. It's for somebody or I don't know. And there's somebody there. It's like, oh, there's drinks. But someone gets a bit out of hand, makes a bit of an, you know. Somebody gets a bit crazy. Not crazy, but I don't know. Maybe they, they, they just, like, unleash their inner self. Maybe it's like they had too much to drink or something happens or someone gets upset or someone says something. Or someone is unhappy about something that happens. You know, but maybe this isn't to do with you. You know, when you're just like watching the drama happen, like maybe it's like that, but I really hope it's not. I hope that there is no, but I don't think it is. I think, I, don't, I think this is just coming up because 
it's just saying to be aware. Yeah, spirit saying to be aware of the situations, literally, as we landed on the high priestess. Be aware of the situations that you are around because you do pick up energy very heightened. And if you are being around, even if you're in a restaurant and that if you're in a pub or a restaurant and there's people somewhere else there that you are, didn't even come with, they're like separate people, but they end up in an argument or something, that affects your energy. You are so in tune with energy that affects you okay energetic boundaries shields of light because i feel like again you could be picking up on energy that you're not sure where it's coming from or maybe you just feel off and it's like it's lingered energy it could be lingered energy even to the point you guys i'm gonna say this one last thing and then we're gonna end it here because it's so long but even to the point where it's like if you go out into a certain restaurant, if you sit down at a table where there's been an argument, you can feel that energy in the air. You can feel that. There's something about you like feeling energy within the air, like feeling energy within like being around. Like no one has to say it. It's like you, like words spoken at energy. If someone's speaking harsh, hurtful words and, there's, and then you walk in a room, you're going to step into that energy and you're going to feel it. Gross. Crystal protection. Some some of you already wear crystals. But this is like... It's nothing to be scared of or anything. These are just minor things, aren't they? But it's like new levels. It's like you're going to start protecting your energy at new level. Because you're feeling things at a new level. There's even some people you're going to move away from because of this. Or like you can't be around as much because of this. Some of you are like, I don't care about burning bridges. <laughs> okay. Because you're a butterfly. You don't need bridges. You just fly. Sorry, I don't know why that came through so strong. But yeah. Right, okay. We're going to leave it here, you guys. I hope you all have a lovely day, evening, whenever you're watching this. And I'll speak to you all soon. My beautiful soul family. Sending big hugs. Mm, love and light.